Hello QuickBook users, welcome back again to our channel. For today's tutorial, we're going to address a question many of you have asked. How can you erase your QuickBooks online data and start fresh? Whether you're facing data clutter, errors, or simply want a clean slate, we've got you covered. But before we proceed, please note that erasing your QuickBooks online data is a significant step and should be done with precaution. Now make sure you back up any essential data or reports before starting this process and as always if you're new here a warm welcome to our community hit that subscribe button don't be shy and ring the notification bell icon so you never miss out on our fantastic content now it's important to note that while starting over has its its advantages obviously it should be uh, done uh, thoughtfully and with proper planning Make sure to back up any uh, data before erasing existing information. Additionally, if, you, if I were you, consider consulting with an accountant or a financial advisor to ensure that starting over aligns with your specific financial goals and obviously your needs. Uh, some businesses and individuals find themselves in a certain situations where a fresh start is necessary. Um, essentially, um, people over time, uh, some data can become cluttered with all or inaccurate or sometimes, you know, duplicated information, you know, so, uh, financial records are, should be clean and free of errors, providing a more accurate and a representation of your current financial situation. Uh, erasing the data provides an opportunity, of course, to reorganize the financial accounts, chart of accounts, and categories, creating a more efficient and relevant financial structure for your business or personal needs. So essentially, you know, starting over can be very beneficial when you want to test new ac accounting methods, you know, and to have a better financial plan, uh, a clean slate enables you to set up an accurate budgets and financial forecast uh, so you won't be working with outdated or erroneous historical data so all you gotta do it depends really on the uh, version that you're using you can see the tool uh, option here all you gotta do is right click on that no actually just click on it you will be uh, given an option your company lists and tools and profile you gotta do is click profile click subscriptions and billing and it really depends on how long your account in QBO really is if it's uh, less than 60 days or if it's more than 60 days all I gotta do is click that and cancel subscription or clean the data and that's it that's basically it there you have it your uh, click QuickBooks online data has been erased and you're ready to start over with a clean slate. Remember, guys, to re-enter any necessary data and set up your account preferences the next time you create an account in QBO. Once again, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Don't be shy. And if you have any questions, throw it away. Don't forget to subscribe for more QBO tutorials. And thanks for watching. See you on the next video.